What's going on, boys and girls? Belle Delphine was arrested for selling uranium to North Koreans. Now, before I even start this video, this is a fake article, I promise. I don't even think the North Koreans would stoop so low to buy uranium from a gamer girl. So I have many guilty pleasures in life, like eating pizza with no hands or shitting with the lights off. And one of those guilty pleasures is satire articles from companies like The Onion, or Clickhole, or Hard Drive, or The Hard Times. And these companies basically make shitpost articles, sometimes mocking real news, but ultimately it's for laughs and lols. And one satire journalist company that I follow is called Hard Drive, and they made a whole article about how Belle Delphine was arrested for selling uranium bathwater to North Korea. Like, holy shit. Like, that's one of my guilty pleasures. Not Belle Delphine or her bathwater or North Korea or anything like that, but just reading satire articles that make me laugh and piss and shit and cum. And the article that we're taking a look at today is so funny to me because some boomer bitch on Facebook is going to probably come across this article and say something like, Oh, these gamer girls are going too far. This is unconstitutional. Why isn't Joe Biden doing something about this. We need to re-elect Trump. So I want to dive into this article and just see what's going on. If you're excited to take a look at today's article and you're also a fan of uranium, then do me a favor and drop a like. Let's get started. The FBI confirmed today that viral internet celebrity Mary Bell Kirshner, holy fuck, is that her name? Really? better known as Belle Delphine, has been taken into custody for her attempt to sell gamer girl uranium to the North Korean government. We have taken Kirshner into custody for her conspiracy to sell nuclear supplies to North Korea, said FBI spokesman John Alden in a, in a prepared statement. Holy fuck, I'm having a stroke. Based on our initial investigation, we believe that North Korean officials set up the sale to not only acquire the uranium, but more importantly for the purpose of meeting Kirshner in person. This... <laughs> This is consistent with financial records we've retrieved, which indicate that Kim Jong-un himself was a majority purchaser of her Gamer Girl bathwater last July. <laughs> Alright, so already we're off to a great start. So I guess Kim Jong-un is just a massive fan of Belle Delphine's work. I mean, I'm just stating the obvious. Kim Jong-un himself was a majority purchaser for Gamer Girl bathwater last July. Clearly, he's a big fan. Our experts on the ground in North Korea have confirmed that Kim Jong-un specifically requested that the uranium be extra kawaii. Alton <laughs> said. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Upon reading Kirshner's residence, the FBI says it found a much larger stockpile of Gamer Girl uranium than expected. On the Kirshner property, we recovered enough Gamer Girl uranium to supply the nuclear program of a very small and cute country, continued spokesperson Alden in his prepared statement. Gamer Girl uranium is not like other types of uranium. This uranium is enriched with a combination of both gamer isotopes and girl isotopes. When a gamer girl lies in a bathtub filled with unenriched natural uranium, it is the deadly combination that gives it a unique pink glow and the potential to wipe out humanity off the face of the earth. I personally want to know how the hell Belle Delphine even acquired uranium in the first place. Honestly, I think she's making way too much money. We don't exactly know how Kirshner acquired natural uranium in the first place, he explained. But we have taken in several of her stands who work in the chemical engineering industry for questioning on that matter. Of course, it's the lonely chemical engineering industry workers who watch Belle Delphine and get off to her. As of press time, the most recent appearance from Kirshner has been from inside her maximum security holding cell, in which she has been seen streaming and showing her viewers how to make a wide variety- variety- holy fuck. I'm keeping that in. A wide variety of gamer girl shanks and shivs. And in case any of you have never went to prison, a shiv and a shank are like slang terms for objects that look or work like knives. And I stole this definition from Google, but trust me, it's probably right. Well, this was a fascinating and educating article. A very kawaii piece, if you will. Why would Belle Delphine ever consider selling uranium to the North Koreans like that? She's such a dirty, sussy baka. Oh my god, I'm gonna go jump off a cliff. But no, seriously, this article is a masterpiece. I mean, I've read this article so many times, but even reading it now for like maybe the fourth time just to record this video, I still broke down laughing. Like, that's how funny it is. The writers for Hard Drive are so talented. Like, they are incredible and funny. And any other synonym for perfect that I could pull out of an online thesaurus. Anyway, for all of my viewers that didn't hear me at the beginning of the video saying that this article is fake, I really hope Belle Delphine has learned her lesson. I hope she never sells gamer girl uranium to the North Koreans ever again. And I hope that dirty, sussy baka stays locked up forever and never gets the opportunity to get outside of prison and try and power a nuclear program of a very small and cute kawaii country. I gotta stop and go get some help. If you guys enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, click the bell icon to be notified when I upload, follow me on all of my social links, and join my Discord server. 
Links are in the description below. Have a wonderful day everyone, and please remember that all of my subscribers are beautiful people, so make sure you subscribe or you're ugly.